The autumn wind is a pirate. Stabler went to number 25, Fred Boletnikoff, in the end zone, and the Oakland lead expanded to 24 to 3. Fred Bolitnikoff's clutch catch finished the Oilers 17 to 6. This was the offense that would finish number one in the AFC. And KNB mentioned the precision passing that has for so long been a feared weapon in the Raider arsenal. As a Ken Stabler or Fred Bolitnikoff hookup was good for six. Staber came right back with a 19-yard strike to Fred Belitnikoff to lead at 21 to 7. Madden's forces were ready. Twice Ken Stabler superbly used the seconds earned by his fierce blockers to find sure-handed Fred Belitnikoff for scores. These helped Belitnikoff become the first player in Raider history to score 60 touchdowns. Ken Stabler and Fred Belitnikoff squeezed 26 very professional yards out of the field, and the Raiders were on the move again. Stabler concluded an 11-play, 71-yard drive with this 11-yard scoring strike to Fred Belitnikoff. Ken Stabler and Fred Belitnikoff teamed up early on a 46-yard pass and go. And from there, the silver and black win. Daring comebacks are a Raider trademark. But the silver and black needed more than just a field goal. Ken Stabler and Fred Belitnikoff were connecting through the air. For the day, Fantastic Fred had eight receptions for 121 yards and two scores. The first on this 34-yarder and tied the game at 10-10. Here's to within three at 20-17. Stabler reached to number 25, Fred Bolitnikoff, for a touchdown that boosted Fred's career reception totals to over 7,000 yards. Third and three from the 13, Stabler looking right, pumping, goes over the middle, Bolitnikoff! Touchdown to Fred Bolitnikoff, his second touchdown pass of the year. And Kenny Stabler throwing for his 16th touchdown pass of the year. He stayed right in there. He had good protection, but there was also a delivery sack on him. He looked the entire defense over, watch his head, and follows Blitnikoff all the way in the good hands. Finally, in the third quarter, the Raiders got going. Ken Stabler's strike to Fred Boletnikoff made it 17-14 and turned Coach Madden into a cheerleader. It's third and ten on the Viking 31, and Stabler wants some points early. Fires down the middle, juggle, Boletnikoff holds on to the ball. Nate Wright battling him, but Fred Boletnikoff, the great name at the other end of Stabler passes, makes the reception. Well, it looks like we're going to have a passing game today. Not much running. Stabler's got a lot of time to throw, and Blitnikoff, the good hands, makes the catch, and it's a first down. Up from his bench spot, where he's been resting since Oakland clinched, came Ken Stabler, who fired fingertip high to Fred Blitnikoff in the end zone. This continued to focus their attention on the Dolphin secondary. Fred Bolitnikoff's circus catch was ruled out of bounds, but Oakland's ringmaster called for a repeat performance. Ball on the 13, second and 10. Stabler back, looks left, throws right. Bolitnikoff, a leaping catch, touchdown! 
the 31, Stabler threw to Bolitnikov, who despite being well covered, somehow came up with the ball. Another look at the superb play by the 12-year veteran receiver shows number 24, cornerback Bob Howard, was guilty of interference, but Bolitnikov pulled it off in spite of it. It was a typical Bolitnikov stabler hookup, utilizing the unerring hands of the former Florida State star with the league-leading passing of the guy they call the Snake. Stabler finished the regular NFL season as its leading passer, beating out Burt Jones for the honor with an incredible 67% completed for 27 touchdown passes. Both statistics were the best in pro football with plenty of room to spare. Oakland fans were getting their revenge, and the Raiders were ahead in the game for the first time 9-7, soon to be 10-7 with Errol Mann's successful conversion as the first half came to an end. That wasn't bad. Hato was the MVP that year. Charlie Joyner, the San Diego Fisher. I couldn't see the number, but I saw the style. That's his 39th reception. Oh, isn't, isn't that something? He gets the first down, one more, and he will have 40 for the 10th consecutive year. A remarkably gifted athlete. Flip France, bottom of the screen. Off the top. Blitnikoff's open. Touchdown, Brett Blitnikoff. <laughs> His 69th career touchdown. He's so old, he's doing a fox trot out there. He's amazing. He's really amazing. And Stabler's fourth touchdown of the night. The ball touches his hands. That's it, Buster. It's not going anywhere else. Positive gloop. Think of Parrish. And he has more moves than a snake. <laughs> he's not the greatest dancer in the world, though, Frank. Watch him if we can get that. That time, he just drifted across the goal line, waiting to... Clear the linebackers. All right, <laughs> Rice down there for the stop. Let's go back and take a look at that last touchdown pass. All right, there's Stabler, and there's Boletnikov with the position, and how quickly that ball zoomed in there. And he's working against one of the fine ones, Lamar Parrish, a two-time Pro Bowler. And even our blimp, Camera. Yeah, he's field one. of the playoffs, the best record in the conference. That's what they yeah. have at stake. This man has had a great night for the Raiders. The autumn wind is a pirate. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, 